Good morning, Flosstube. This is Kathy, the hands-on designer. I'm coming at you, well, I'm coming at you from my kitchen on this Wednesday morning. I thought maybe I'd change the background scenery up a little bit. Um, we are finally, this past weekend, I got a lot of the areas decorated for Christmas. I still have ornaments to put on the tree, but I'm kind of just doing that slowly. Um, this is one of my favorite areas to decorate. Let me see if I can move the camera and show it, get you a little better shot. I just like, um, decorating that for each season. When we built the house, um, I didn't want a hood or anything up there and the type of stove that I bought actually has a downdraft. So I didn't have to have that big overhead vent. Um, so I, I wanted some open shelving that I could decorate with. And the really resourceful guys that built our house, um, we had extra flooring and so they used the extra walnut to build those shelves and they did that in my laundry room as well so i just i love it i love having that little just little spot to decorate and um and so sometimes even if that's the only spot that i get to decorate then i feel like hmm, it looks pretty good in here <laughs> anyway so um as i said this is day two or maybe i didn't say this is day two of trying to film this video so uh we're gonna make this go um i have a lot to share with you today and actually what i started sharing with you um yesterday was how my morning began yesterday and um so if you've watched my videos obviously you've met my oldest son billy he was just actually in my last video well my other son my younger son has not been in a video yet he does not live here in town he lives in des moines um, he is a photographer and an editor with um, the kcci news station and he works the well he he, he works on the morning show so um he's at work at three in the morning <laughs> not always you know like i'm not awake at three in the morning uh so yesterday i started getting some texts from him fairly early in the morning not 3 a.m early but more like oh about six o'clock 6 30 something like that so of course i start reading all these different texts and i get these beautiful pictures he said we're at the governor's mansion this morning uh, uh terrace hill is the name of our um iowa governor's mansion that's where the governor and um, her husband reside and they were giving them a tour it's all decorated for christmas now and i guess starting last night it's open to the public so you can go in and see all the beautiful decorations and these are some of the pictures that he let's see if i can get that that's one of the pictures. Isn't that just lovely? Beautiful tree. And then, oh, this grand staircase. Isn't that just beautiful? Well, then he sent me, and I forgot to snapshot it here. Um, he sent me a picture of the dining room, and they were getting the tables all ready. And I went, oh, that's right. I totally forgot about this. I was looking at the chairs. The chairs are covered in needlepoint. All the seats are needlepoint. Well, a number of years ago, I want to say it's been 10, 11 years now, and um, there was a, a push. Well, I, I, I don't know if it was a grant or if there was some money donated or something, uh, but they wanted to recover all of the needlepoint seats in the dining room. And I want to say there were, they were going to do like 99 seats because there's 99 counties in Iowa. And at the time, our neighbor was one of our state legislators and his wife was pretty active on different committees and I guess this was one of the committees that she was working on and so she reached out to me and asked if I would be the person for my county to needlepoint the chair cover and I was like well sure I'd be honored to do something like that well as I said it was 10 11 years ago I kind of forgot about it I mean we actually did get an invitation to go and for the you know when when the seats were all finally covered and done and little plaques were made and <laughs> and um so i of course i'm you know i'm looking at the picture of the into that he took of the the dining room and i'm you know making it bigger looking at the seats i'm like oh my gosh so of course what do i do the total mom thing i said did you tell them that your mom you know your mommy um needle pointed one of the seats and he's like no i didn't <laughs> Uh, and then he's like the ones with the acorns on them and yes I had forgot there was some kind of white on white or cream on cream um, acorns in the middle it's the state crest that we needle pointed on every seat and um, I said yeah that's the one and and he, he, I didn't hear anything back from him for a minute and he all of a sudden I got a text that said uh-oh <laughs> And I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to open this picture. So this is the picture that I opened. He found my chair. 
I don't know if you can read that or not. If you can't read it, it says, stitched by Cindy Haberman. Or actually the way they have Haberman spelled it with Cindy Haberman. <laughs> I'm like, Cindy? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like I had to fill out five pieces of paper to identify who I was, so what the plaque would say. <laughs> so I texted him back immediately. I said, get your Sharpie out. <laughs> no, he did not. I said, well, can you have them change it? <laughs> or he, you know, he said, uh, I'll, I'll get a change put in. I'm like, really, will you? He goes, no. <laughs> um, so I was actually kind of impressed. I said, how did you find my chair? Um, and, and he's, cause I'm imagining like the governor, Kim Reynolds, like giving this grand tour and there's my son, you know, looking at each chair, looking for the one that I stitched. <laughs> and he said, no, he asked some of the house staff and they, I guess they probably have a list of where all the chairs are. Apparently I think they rotate them because the background of these chairs was cream, a cream wool. I thought you meant one good state dinner and somebody pour, pours some, you know, red wine or gravy or <laughs> whatever, you know, and that, that puppy's going to have to be dry cleaned. Um, so anyway, so, uh, I just thought that was funny. And he, and he did say, well, I think the governor needs to have a shot. She, she owes you a special guest shot in one of your floss tubes. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Would you schedule that? <laughs> so I thought, well, there's my legacy, you know, me and Cindy. <laughs> Anyway, that's how my morning began. I should have known it was going to be a crazy day after that. But uh, anyway, so fun to share. Uh, it was actually an honor and a pleasure to needlepoint one of the chair seats. And, you know, and whether it's me or Cindy, you know, I left my mark. <laughs> and apparently, well, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> so, okay, on to new release news. Um, we've got the fourth in the Chalk Full series. That's, of course, the series that uh, Priscilla Blaine, chalk artist, does the drawing, and then I make it into cross-stitch. And by the time I actually upload this video, hopefully you've seen it, um, if not on my posts and Priscilla's blog, um, shops are getting the information out as well because we're going to be shipping this very soon. I wanted to get it to shops before Christmas. So here's the next chalk full jar. Snowy. And I just, I just love this. The colors, they, they just speak winter to me. Um, fun winter, <laughs> not the slushy, icy, icky winter, but this is fun winter. And if you're a snowman lover, you're just gonna love those little guys. Now I do wanna point out, oh my goodness, I can't believe I did this. I discovered this, unfortunately, far too late. Um, charted, the, the snowmen have little rosy cheeks. And it's charted that way and it's adorable because I've seen Priscilla's and it's adorable. And I forgot to put the cheeks on. I actually tried to um, stitch them like with this all finished and yeah, it was a no-go. I was just making more of a mess. And so I thought I will explain. I'll also, it's, I, it's a prime example that, you know, they look lovely without the snowy cheeks. <laughs> Oh, people, it just, it happens sometimes. What are you gonna do? Um, I've done my typical finish for this particular series, an eight by 10 ready-made frame. Um, I used this gray and white gingham um, on point. This is the one, um, I do get this particular one at Hobby Lobby. I love this one because it is the perfect gray. It's like, it's almost like a neutral gingham. If gingham can be neutral, this is a neutral gingham. I've used this particular fabric on some of the other finish as well. I wanna say I think I used it on Boo, the chock full Boo, and I've used it on others as well. That just goes to show you how versatile it is. Versatile it is. It just really picks up a lot of the colors. And I just liked the ni nice, clean, crisp, chilly, snowy look to it. Uh, so mine is stitched on the 32 count slate fabrics by Stephanie. By now, hopefully, my goodness, there are so many different type of chalk like linens out there or Ada's. I hope that you found one that works for you. Okay. Cause everybody has little preferences and they're all going to work. Uh, you, when you see Priscilla's video, she stitches on 28 count black monaco and it's beautiful on that as well so there's so many different ways 
um, for you to, to create your, your, your piece and make it personal. Uh, I also, once again, had Lady Dot do the uh, hand dyed trim. This is called Snowy Trim, named after, you know, we've been matching it to the jar. And she just really captured that very chalky look. It's got just a little hint of blue to it, which just really just kind of pulls it all together. Uh, it's three quarter inch twill tape, and you can order that from your shop where they where you get the, the chart itself. And then, of course, just another button company did the little pin mini um, with the, this one's called the Snowy Jar. Again, I'm trying to keep everything named the same um, or suggesting that they name them the same. So this one, I just, I asked that they just kind of do just some bright little colors to just kind of pop off there and everything about this just it says fun fresh winter I think and um, the, the the picks that sort of come out okay I don't know if Priscilla's going to talk about this at all in her video but when the drawing originally came through there was actually little bits of green okay now obviously think about it there's only so many colors of chalk and she draws with real chalk um, not pens or anything like that and so originally when I charted it it had green in it and we both kind of thought, it looks really Christmassy. And we did not want this to be Christmassy. And so in working together on this, we kind of came up with the idea to make it the, the lighter color. And um, she called me and said, what do you think? And I said, well, let me try it. And uh, so once I popped it into the computer, because uh, the design itself at that point was all done, uh, it was just like, oh, it just, you know, sometimes just something just, clicks and makes it all work and it's it's subtle but it's bright but i just i just i don't know she drew a really cute drawing don't you think you got to agree um so this is the 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 jar and of course with the others uh as with the others we we also brought you a little small little two snowy snowmen and don't they look like they're out in a big windstorm with their i just love these fun little hats they just kind of did you ever have okay I don't know when those kind of hats were popular I think I was like in grade school or middle school when people had those long hats like that I'm completely dating myself now um, but on this one again I did the the fun little finish um, I did finish the way I normally do where I think I talked about it in one of my videos where I go through the back this is an example you can see how I close my pillow up I have not put the iron-on patch over yet because Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I was out of the double-sided fusible um, interfacing, so I've got to go pick some up. And then I'll, I'll just pop that on now. You know, yeah, I can still put it on. So for this one, again, I use that same neutral gingham. And the reason why I guess I like it so much, it's like the perfect gray to coordinate with um, the slate uh, linen. And then, of course, I used, again, I pleated, once again, the Lady Dot trim. Now, this time I did it a little differently. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've had the pleats to this point. They've either been tucked in the seam, going up or going down, um, or I've had all the pleats going in one direction. This time, I kind of wanted them almost as if you tied a scarf in the middle. I wanted the, so some of the pleats, half the pleats go this way, and the other half go that way. It's just a matter of how you fold the... Um, the, the twill when you when you iron it and then when you sew it down and then I knew I wanted to have a little bit of you know a little pop of red in there just to coordinate with the pins and normally I do like my pins off to one side but for some reason with this I just knew it was going to be center it's like a it's like a center part um, so once again and I just I love these snowmen they're just adorable Priscilla did a great job drawing this one and uh, and it was really fun to uh, to make it into cross stitch so um this starts shipping to shops tuesday so they should have it by the um close to the mid well late in that next next week i wanted it to be in the shops before christmas because i just know you don't have anything else to stitch if you've got some time off over the christmas break right <laughs> um anyway so snowy this is number four in the chalk full series so cute. Thanks for, to Priscilla for drawing another great drawing. Um, so I had that's that's actually my last release of of uh, um, the year, and I'm already working on lots of projects for next year. 
Um, Nashville market is in March and I've got, yes, I've got new series, I've got new plans. I'm, I'm teaching a lot next year. I'm traveling and teaching a lot. So I'm right now, actually, I'm working on a lot of the teaching pieces. A few classes I'm repeating because they were new this year, but I'm kind of bringing a couple new projects into the, the teaching stable, shall we say. So lots going on. It's just crazy. Everybody said, oh, this must be kind of your downtime. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> But speaking of special projects, um, recently I was at um, Salty Yarns. I was teaching at um, their fall jamboree and I brought a very special project with me to show to the ladies and gentlemen that were in attendance. And the, the project itself, this is a, a limited project I've done with Salty Yarns. Um, it'll come out in January. So if your significant other is still looking for maybe some Christmas ideas, um, here is a great way to say, hey, call this shop, pre-order it, and then it'll arrive in January. Um, went a little bit about Salty Yarns. It's an awesome shop in um, Ocean City, Maryland. And okay, imagine this, all right, there's the, there's the Atlantic Ocean, okay? There's the sand depending on tide. Then there's the boardwalk. Then there's the shop. It's a shop right next to the ocean. <laughs> it just blows my mind every time I think about it. So, uh, so you could technically, I was thinking, you could be on the beach, just, you know, under your umbrella, reading your book, watching the kids in the surf and saying hi to the people walking by and all of a sudden go, hmm, I need some gentle art sampler threads, or I need some Weeks Dye Works, or a, a bit of hand dyed linen would be nice right about. <laughs> Who thinks that? I don't know, maybe you do, I probably would. Um, so you could just slip on your little cover up, put your flip flops on, go across the boardwalk, be careful for the bikes when you cross because there's a lot of bicycle traffic, and then just go into the shop and you are in a wonderland. The shop has so much in it, um, she's got kits, uh, just neat little display areas. She has a ton of finishing accessories. Like if you're looking for that little box or something that went with like a particular kit, oh my gosh, they have all of that. Um, they have some needlepoint as well and a lot of um, the wools and the needlepoint type floss, you know, for your canvas. Um, I, they even have yarn. Um, so yeah, really just a lot to look at and tons of models and just, just so much to enjoy. I've been fortunate to teach there twice now at their fall jamboree four years ago at, uh, at the fall jamboree, sorry, uh, with, uh, just another button company with my good friends, Cecile and Rachel, we taught, um, kind of a coordinated little class, um, the three of us, three separate classes, but the theme, there was a theme. And then this past fall now with Vicki Jeanette of Needlework Press and Janice Note of Noteworthy Needle. And I shot a video up at uh, Janice's house after we got done teaching a few videos ago. So it just it's just a fun place. Um, you kind of feel like you sort of go back in time, like the good old beach days. And um, I don't know. So they had asked me to do like a special project for them. And I said, well, of course I would love to because there's nothing I love better than designing for beach designs, which reminds me, I did a series called To the Beach. And I actually, the concept, like the colorway and the style, like the vintage beach look, I actually kind of formulated the first time I was teaching there because during our breaks we could walk up and down the boardwalk and I took a ton of pictures like there'd be like a lone old bicycle on a lamp post and some of the murals on the walls like the old advertisements and things like that and just that chippy beachy washed look and that's kind of where I got the inspiration for the colorway for the to the beach series because it was kind of a vintage beach look through the whole series so anyway uh, I knew I kind of wanted to sort of do that vintage beach look, but with a different take. I like, I like changing up those beachy looks. So, and I'm going to give full credit to my husband on this one, Mr. Hands-On Design, because he's the one that actually curated the saying that is on this box, on this drawer. I just, and it's just hilarious to me. So, have you ever told a fishtail, heard a fishtail? Because a fishtail has nothing on a salty yarn. 
So from the very beginning with this one, um, when I first started talking to Sarah, who runs um, Salty Yarns, we both said we wanted a drawer. We wanted a drawer finish. And I really, I wanted something that was, and this one actually has handles on both sides. So you could carry it like this. And I wanted something that was really, how do I want to say, sig like, a, like, a, like a significant piece. It just wouldn't be something that would like, you know, fly off a tabletop. I mean, this is definitely something that you could put next to your stitching spot, um, hide all your stitching treasures inside of it. And, or I'm, I actually probably eventually will put mine by, um, cause I have some beachy things in my, my, where my bedroom and I'm going to put it next to it cause I want to put like all my little things in at night. Um, because the surprise with this box, it's got four little cubbies in it. And so you can hide your, I'll explain about those little treasures here. Um, so you can hide all your little treasures in there, whether they're stitching accessories or whatnot. Um, and they won't get all kind of jumbled. They'll stay nice and neat and organized. So I designed the lid of this piece and, okay, now I'm caught on my scarf. How embarrassing is that? I'm not, oh, there we go. Not even cutting. And believe it or not, it was my, it was my flamingo charm charm on my Pandora bracelet. It was kind of going, hey, I'm here. You're talking about beach. Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of appropriate. Um, so, <laughs> so I want to talk to you a little bit about what all you're going to get in this kit. So you are getting um, the box. You are getting the pattern. I'll show you all the designs. Um, so this is the lid that you will build on top of it. So you'll get all, it's all Weeks Dye Works Floss. I want to say there's like 13 colors in it and you'll get all your linen and then I designed a couple extra little pieces to go inside so you'll see this little guy right here he fits perfectly in there okay this one is dedicated to the um, to, to Sally Sarah's mom because she likes finishing my pin cushions and my drum or my yeah my drums and so this one I'm calling this the away we go pin cushion and because the saying that goes around it says, a wave comes splashing over your toes, you just stand still and away it goes. Then you got a little fun little fish on there. I love all the fish in this. Um, okay, much like I never thought I would design a chicken and now how many have I designed? I never thought I would design a bluefish. <laughs> just tons of fun little design, just fun little fishies little fishies and then um, so you'll get the linen and all of course all the threads for this and then the piece of uh, Weeks Dye Works wool guess what color that wool is flamingo so um, you'll get all that instruction in there and she's including some shell pins for you to um, make use of your pin cushion and um, this other I don't know I have to name these things um, these fishtail fobs, I just, I, I couldn't even stop at one. Have you ever heard of fishtail? The fish was this big. No, wait. It was this big. <laughs> no, wait. I sound like Papa Bear. This, it was this big. <laughs> He's my favorite fish of all. Boop, 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 boop. So each one is slightly bigger than the next, much like a fishtail. So I'll stack them here and you can see them. Oh my gosh, they're just too cute. I just couldn't stop at one. And they're finished in the style, um, like I call it the charm, uh, the, the, the charm fob style um, that I've done before in different charts. So you're getting complete instructions. You're getting all the backing fabric. You're getting, you see the little Rick Rack, Lady Dot, hand dyed, new colors for this. Um, you're getting two different sizes of Rick Rack three quarter inch and half inch. So the larger on the box lid and she's, and then the smaller on the fobs and she's calling it mermaid tail. Everything is beachy about this one. So she designed that color, how pretty. And then for around the box lid as well, um, goldfish palms, are they not the cutest? Because you'll probably notice throughout, I did these kind of a repeating theme is, these fun little goldfish, they just sort of show up everywhere. I know, probably no goldfish in the ocean. <laughs> it's cross-stitch, okay? And I can I add, is that not the cutest seaweed you ever saw in your life? And what's fun about this design, this is um, actually an eight inch 
uh, piece right here but it the stitching goes a little bit beyond so when it comes to centering and lacing your piece it's gonna be super easy you don't have to worry about like oh how much does, does this side match that side the design actually the cross stitch goes off about a half inch and it just wraps around the back so super fun to center on there you're gonna get your foam core you're gonna get the red fabric, you're gonna get the hand-dyed rickrack from Lady Dot and the hand-dyed palms, you're gonna get the, um, again, as I said, the Weeks Dye Works, the linen, it's a 32 count linen, and then the in complete instruction in how to assemble um, the, the lid for your drawer. Now I did, uh, wrote a book practically with tons of pictures. If you've ever taken a class of mine, you know that I do lots of pictures in my finishing instructions. So you get that, plus you have access to a video that I shot where I walk you through. I actually assemble one of these in the video. So it's kind of like taking a class with me. And you, it's a, it's on my floss tube channel, but it's unlisted. Only those that purchase the kit will have access to it. So um, you'll, there's no reason why you can't do this really fun finish. You, you can kind of see it's got a little lip on it so that it fits perfectly on your drawer. Now, when you get the drawer, um, it's wood and it comes unfinished. So the only thing that you do have to buy, um, and I've given all the in ordering information, um, you do have to purchase the paint. I got mine at Walmart. It was pretty easy to get. It was a, one of the little Waverly bottles. And I think the color was called plaster. Um, and I walk you through the steps of, you know, dry brushed a couple coats on, I gave it a little sanding. I wanted that beached, beachy weathered look. And then I did a little um, paste wax over top. All the instructions are in the video and the, the written tutorial. Um, what else? What am I leaving out? Probably the only thing you'll have to get, a few things you'll have to have on hand. Of course, the paint, um, it, easy to find. Um, and it doesn't have to be this paint. It could be whatever paint you want. Um, well, let's see what else. Batting, cotton batting. You will want to get some of that. I use a warm and natural. You probably have some on hand if you do any kind of finishing. Um, and if you don't have it on hand, it's good to have on hand if you ever want to try finishing. So there's that. And then um, I use the double-sided um, stitchery tape uh, quite a bit. My, my, my friends all, they're like, you should get sponsored by them because <laughs> I use that stuff all the time uh, in finishing. So, um, and this is laced. I walk you through the lacing steps. Everything is laced. Um, so there you go. And what else is included? She's gonna include some extra little goodies. She is packing this kit full. And, and I'm sorry, I don't have um, everything here to show you. Uh, so let's see, I want to give you some idea of what else you're getting in the kit. Oh, she reached out to, um, I think you're getting a little waxer, a fun little waxer for your, uh, uh, for your threads, an ort jar, because I kind of said to her, when you open this, okay, take your lid off, and I I'd, I'd sized this to fit perfectly in there, and then you can have your, I made three of these. Now, you could probably put those all on one scissor, but I know you have three scissors out there, at least three scissors. I could make a school of fish and you could have one for all of your scissors. So you can fit those in another. So how fun would it be to have like um, an ort jar in there? So you're gonna be getting that. And then you have one left for kind of just those odds and ends. And, um, but she reached, okay, besides having a fun little waxer, she, re where's my list? I had a list here, okay. Here's my list. Okay, so she reached out to LaDonna of Sampling of Memories, who does those really awesome thread keeps. Um, she takes a picture and it's in a little cabochon with all kinds of, she just really dolls them up with beads and baubles and they look so pretty. Um, I don't have one here, but LaDonna sent me a picture. So it's the center of your box, so it coordinates. Isn't that adorable? See, I, she just really has an eye for attaching um, the right buttons and charms. Here's another picture what it's gonna look like. So that will come in your kit. And she's also, okay, then the shell um, counting pins. And um, also she reached out to Joseph's Workshop. I'll be honest, 
I've seen their things, but I'm not familiar with the particular company, but they do custom work for kits such as this, and you're getting a little three inch ruler. That's gonna fit perfectly inside one of your little cubbies. And so, like I said, you're getting a lot of stuff with that. It's coming out in January. It'll be shipping. They're putting kits together now. So, like I said, it's the perfect time if your significant other needs to know what you want for Christmas, call Salty Yarns and get on the list. Um, final pricing, please contact the shop. My part of this is really the design part of it and the finish, you know, making the, the finishing tutorials and whatnot. But as far as the shipping and, and all that stuff, and this is only available right now um, and for a while in, in just the, in, uh, the limited edition full kit and you really are getting everything and lots of little bonuses. So how cool would that be to open on Christmas morning or, or Eve, whichever, whenever you open gifts, uh, how cool would that be to open something up and saying, you're getting this, and then you get to open it again in January when it arrives. So uh, lots of fun things in there. Um, I, ooh, I believe, okay, I did, I brought these up as prop, props. Um, you are actually getting the foam core, you are getting mat board, and you are getting the cardboard for some of the smaller pieces. Um, so you don't have to go buy all this or source all this if you don't have that kind of thing. Really very few things for you to buy. You are getting the red fabric, that beautiful kind of beached, uh, washed, beachy red, kind of a washed red color. And then, so you do need to, this is the warm and natural. See, it's a really thin batting. You do need to have some of that, not a lot. Uh, you can get a small package. And then, I'm just looking to see if I have anything else here. And then of course the, the paint. Um, so really just a couple items that you have to supply. Other than that, everything comes in your kit. So how fun is that? So those of you that like your beach stuff, just remember, a fishtail has nothing on a salty yarn. I'm pretty sure we could all tell a salty yarn or two, and definitely a fishtail. So there you go. So call um, Salty Yarns about that. I will put their phone number below. They are obviously in kind of a resort community in, in Ocean City right out there on the boardwalk. So they're winter, they're, they have winter hours in effect right now. So I think I wanna say it's like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Check their website or their Facebook page to find out when they're open and know that if you call and leave a message, it might take a few days for them to get back with you. So um, say hi to Sally, say hi to Sarah. Sally, I'm pretty sure she's told us all to yarn or two. Anyway, so there you go. Um, that's what I've been working on. I want to take a moment, because this is probably gonna be, I would say, my last video for, the, for 2019. And uh, I just, I really wanna say thank you to, it's, it's been a busy year, it's been a great year. Um, and I want to thank you all for your support. Uh, I want to thank a lot of the, the ladies that I've worked with in the needlework community. Um, it's been a blast. I have so many more cool, fun things planned for next year. I look forward to showing those and bringing those to you. I'm going to be teaching quite a bit next year. So it's a, it's a, it's a lot sometimes, but I really, you have to know I do it because I really do enjoy getting out there and um, meeting stitchers and building friendships. Um, I can definitely say I have friends. Well, I have friends all over the world. Um, most, yes, here in the United States, but uh, a few that I have gotten to meet um, overseas when I, I got the opportunity to teach um, in the Netherlands and just through social media, you know, meeting up with a variety of people that way. And it's just, it's very touching and, and I really appreciate it. So stick with me for what's to come in 2020. Um, so I don't have, a uh, vintage stitch to share with you this time. And thank you for the love of uh, that you gave my vintage stitch before. Um, uh, excuse me, my nose is running. Um, but um, it, I, it's, it's sitting there, we, we keep auditioning it in several places. I don't know where it's gonna get hung, but it is going to get hung. Um, Sue Lentz, no longer has her a uh, couple of people so where can i get those your best bet i would say is going to have to be check on um ebay for some of those kits um she did a lot of her designs as kits 
uh, her newsletter was called the Athelstain, Athelstain Stitcher, I believe. So you can Google that or Google Sue Lentz um, and you see her style. She had a very distinctive style. I really liked that style. Uh, so it, that's, I, unfortunately I can't say, oh, go here and they'll have them because her, her stuff is really, I think, no longer um, around except in people's stashes. <laughs> but, okay, so no vintage stitch this time, but I want to show you a whip because every once in a while um, when pro certain projects are kind of ending like what I just showed you uh, or you know I'm not stitching them any longer and I actually just shipped a bunch of stuff off to a model stitcher or model stitchers for next year's releases I find myself with a night or two where I don't have because I may be in concept work on a design I don't have something to stitch I mean of my own you know um, so I found this pattern I want to share with you she's I consider her a friend Cheryl of um, tiny modernist and uh, her name says it all she's like she's like she's a sweet little we call her tiny when we're at market and one time I asked her I said do you mind that we call you tiny and she's like no <laughs> she's Canadian I don't know is that how Canadians sound? I don't know um, <laughs> But she's so sweet, and I've loved this pattern ever since it came out a few years ago. And every year I've gone up to her room at Market to try and purchase a copy of this, and she's always sold out of it. And I mentioned something to her about it, and so this past March, she messaged me and said, come by the room. I saved a copy for you. I'm like, yay! So I'm so excited. Um, so I had this sitting there um, on my work table and I thought, I have to have something to stitch. I just can't sit there, heaven forbid, and watch TV. Um, so I happened to just, you know, have a little bit of chalky type fabric laying around my studio. And I started, this is just a, here, this just a couple nights work and I'm using now she calls for I think she does a lot of DMC well she did DMC in this one um, a red white and a green and you know so there's a red white and green um, but what I did I can't pick them all up like that oh my goodness I'm dropping <laughs> okay let's go like this I picked out the red white and green from this is from the cranberry Christmas thread pack these are this is the sulky 12 weight cotton petites it also happens to be the red, white, and green that I used for my new release, well, it came out last month, Cool Yule. So really, you can do any red, white, and green that suits your fancy. It's just happened to be sitting there, and I thought, and this is the same spool that the Cranberry Christmas was stitched with and the Cool Yule, and you can see I've got plenty of yardage left to complete this one as well. So that's what, kind of what I love about these, um, especially for something that doesn't have like a wide, huge color palette. Um, and they're just, you know, and one ply, it just stitches up beautifully. And that's just a couple nights work. So I'm hoping I can get this done. Okay, probably not before Christmas because starting tonight, I do actually have a model stitch I have to work on on my own um, but anyway so I just thought I'd share one of my work my whips with you I love her work um, I've I she just does well a tiny modernist I just think basically explains who she is I mean her just her designs they're just not all tiny but you know, she does a lot of like large projects that come out in little bits and and they're just kind of they're just fun I just I really like her style so if you're not familiar with her work check her out and um, and you can order this through your shops so I'd say that's it's a pretty packed video now and I'm done and this one's getting posted and um, part of the I'll give you the quick synopsis of why I probably look and sound a little tired is yesterday during all like the filming and the editing um, my doggy Daisy that I introduced you to in the last video got out and um, she she's a runner <laughs> She has lots of energy, and for about two and a half hours, uh, we kept spotting her. She went through the bean fields this way. She went She met, went up to the farm, met all the cows up this way. She went across the highway several times around the farms over there, you know, and I kept trying to keep an eye on her. Tried not to appear that I was chasing her. It was all a huge game. I, of course, every time she crossed the highway, um, I mean, it's not a huge highway, but it's a busy road. It can be a busy road. We live far off it, but sh she's a runner. 
<laughs> um, she made it all the way down to the Floyd River and we thought we had her and then don't you know five deer come running out of the woods and in any other circumstance that would have been a beautiful and awesome sight except that my dog who we almost had took off after the deer i'm tired and sore and this mama doesn't run that much let alone two and a half hours in 14 degree temperatures so um she's back home and she's very tired very remorseful um, and my biggest fear was that, you know, she still has, she had a little surgery last week. Um, she got spayed last week and um, she still has her sutures in. So I was really kind of hoping she didn't, you know, her, rip anything open, but she's fine, but I'm tired. <laughs> so take number 13 is in the books. I wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you happen to celebrate. I hope it's a happy one. Um, I hope that you get some time to stitch and i will see you with lots of fun things in the new year enjoy the stitch